Friday is in Jerusalem, you're guaranteed to find dozens and dozens of loaves of challah bread here at Mahana Yehuda Market. And today, we're going to go behind the scenes inside a challah bread bakery to see how it's made. So let's go. Preparing the challah bread first starts out by making the dough. So water and yeast and flour, along with a few other secret ingredients, are mixed together and kneaded well for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Once the dough is no longer sticking to the bowl, it has time to rest before it goes into the hopper. Then, the baker brushes the machine with a little bit of oil on top as well as inside the machine to ensure that the dough does not stick. And now it's time to add the dough. As the dough works its way through the machine, it is stretched and then cut into equal dough ball portions. The dough balls are then slowly rolled down the conveyor belts. The baker monitors the production to ensure that the dough balls are evenly spaced and round. Then the dough balls are dropped into a lift conveyor where they rise until one by one they are dropped on the assembly line through a cylindrical tube. When the baker is ready, he presses a button and the dough drops down from the hopper. The dough balls then proceed from the hopper to be rolled out by a grooved rolling pin. The flat and grooved dough is then stretched and rolled into long thin cylinders. The machine smooths the cylinders and rolls them out to fall into the baker's table. The baker then takes four of the long cylinders and braids them into the hollow loaves. With each braided loaf, the baker rolls and tucks the ends underneath and then dips it in sesame seeds. The baker will continue braiding the loaves until he's filled up his baking sheet. Then the baking sheets are placed on a rack, and the rack is transferred to a proofing cabinet for the dough to rise. Once the dough has doubled in size, it's time to bake the loaves. So the baker will take the baking sheets and place them on another rack to go into the oven. The baker then pushes the racks into the ovens. The oven rotates the racks from right to left and left to right to ensure that the loaves are evenly baked. Once the loaves are golden brown, it's time to take them out of the oven. The baker then proceeds to pull the rack full of the loaves out of the oven and allows them to cool. The cold challah bread loaves are then taken to the storefront across the street for customers like you and me to buy and enjoy.